good afternoon everybody so today uh, we solve one more problem on uh, integrable integrability of an equation so here the problem is solve x square y minus y cube minus y square z dx plus x y square minus x square z minus x cube dy plus x y square plus x square y dz equal to 0. Okay, so this is a uh, given problem. Now call this equation as 1. Okay, here. Call this equation as 1. Now in this, uh, comparing this equation, comparing this equation 1 with the standard equation p dx plus q dy plus r dz equal to 0. Compare these two equations here. This is 1 and this is equation. Then what we obtain? We know that, we come to know what is the value of p, what is the value of q, what is the value of r. Okay, so now this implies what? p is equal to the first term x square y minus y cube minus y square z. Okay, so this is p. Then q is equal to, this is a q. This is p, this is q and this one is r. Okay. So, we write here that term we write here p is equal to x square y minus y cube minus y square z and q is equal to x y square minus x square z minus x cube. Then r is x y square plus x square y. Now, we apply the condition of integrability. So, condition of integrability is given by this formula. So, p into dou q by dou z minus dou r by dou y plus q into dou r by dou x minus dou p by dou z then plus r into dou p by dou y minus dou q by dou x equal to 0. Okay, so now uh, we find these derivatives. All these derivatives we find now. So, first we find dou q by dou z. So, this is q. Okay, so this is q. Now differentiate this q with respect to z. Okay. So here the first term there is no z term. So the differentiation of first term is 0. Whereas the second term it contains z term. So x square becomes constant. So and the differentiation of z is 1. So only minus x square minus x square. Then in the third term also there is no z term. So only x cube. So differentiation of x cube is with respect to z is 0. So only one term is left that is minus x square. Minus x square. So dou q by the first term dou q by dou z is equal to minus x square. Similarly we find dou r by dou y. So this is r. Okay. So this is r. So now this is r differentiate r with respect to y. So, here 1 y square is there, x is constant. So, differentiation of y square is 2y. So, 2y x plus here also x square y, y term is there. So, differentiation of y with respect to y is 1, only x square is left. So, uh, it's a different, dou r by dou y is equal to 2xy plus x square. Similarly, dou r by dou x, differentiate again the same thing r with respect to x. So, y square becomes constant. So, y square plus 2xy. So, dou r by dou x. Similarly, dou p by dou z. So, dou p by dou z is here there is no z term and here also there is no z term. So, differentiation of this term is 0 now. Only we have the last term that is minus y square. Differentiation of z with respect to z is 1. So, only one term we got that is only minus y square. So, that is dou p by dou z. Next, take dou p by dou y. Okay, so now p is here. Okay, now differentiate this p with respect to y. Uh, so here, uh, the first term contains y. In all the terms, y is involved. So therefore, we differentiating with respect to y, we will get x square minus 3y square minus 2yz. Okay, so dou p by dou y. Next, dou q by dou x. So, q is there. In all the terms, x is also there. So, differentiation of q with respect to x is y square 
minus 2xz minus 3x square. Okay, so we will get all the derivatives now. So that is, I have written here. So this is the first term dou q by dou z equal to minus x square it is. So it is equal to minus x square. This is equal to minus x square dou r by dou y we get this one dou r by dou x this one dou p by dou z minus y square dou p by dou y this terms will get dou p by dou x and this term okay so now substituting all these derivatives substituting all these derivatives in equation 2 then we obtain this equation okay so now we get this equation and if you multiply these equations multiply term by term multiply term by term and you will get all terms will be cancelled and it will be equal to 0. So therefore we say that the given equation is integrable. The given equation is integrable. Now to find the solution of the given equation. What we do? We divide the given equation 1 by x square y square. So what is that equation? So this is a given equation. Now divide this whole equation by x square y square. So when this is divided by x square y square, x square x square get cancelled and 1 y y get cancelled, 1 by y is left. Like that here, y square y square cancel, y by x square is left. So like that, we divide each and every term by x square y square and I obtain here, so this 1 by y minus y by x square minus z by x square dx plus 1 by x minus z by y square minus x by y square dy plus 1 by x plus 1 by y dz equal to 0. Now rearranging this term. So rearranging in the sense what? Uh, collect x dy and y dx wherever it is. You collect those terms at one place. So here x dy I have collected x dy minus y dx by x square. Similarly here x dz minus z dx divided by x square. y dx minus x dy divided by y square. So all these terms are in this only you have to collect it. You have to search and collect all the terms and put in this fashion. Okay, put in this fashion. So, I obtain these four terms. x dy minus y dx by x square. Then x dz minus z dx by x square. Then plus y dx minus x dy by y square. Plus y dz minus z dy divided by y square equal to 0. So, we get this equation. Now, this means uh, this is nothing but the quotient rule of y by x. So when we apply quotient rule, all uh, when we when we differentiate y by x using quotient rule, we obtain this equation. So that means this is nothing but differentiation of y by x. Similarly, this is uh, this equation is obtained by differentiating uh, z by x by quotient rule. So this is differentiation of z by x. Similarly, this is a differentiation of x by y and this is differentiation of z by y and equal to 0. So, finally, integrating this whole equation. So, on integration of first term becomes integration differential get cancelled. So, y by x plus z by x plus x by y plus z by y equal to c. Now, simplifying, taking LCM, xy as LCM, then we uh, will get cross multiply here we get y into y plus z plus x into x plus z equal to c x y so this is the solution of the given problem okay so with this uh, i conclude this class and continue in the next class thank you